Let it be known then. All right, so, hey, like, what made you start drawing or like drawing? Like, uh, my grandfather was an artist. He always drew me when I was a kid. Like, uh, he used to work like on on the railroad and stuff, and a train had derailed, and he stole like a whole basement full of paper. But like, he's an old man, and, like rations everything. So, I my grandparents kind of babysat me every day growing up. Uh-huh, so I'm a single uh-huh. mom, and I. Uh, he was my grandfather's like an amazing like still life artist. He can look at something and just crank like super fast. But, oh wow! So when I was a kid, I was always drawing with him. Always like I'm gonna be an artist when I'm older. And my grandmother's always like she's actually uh, from Queens. She just thick New York accent. She's like, yeah, you better do something with it. Your grandfather never did nothing with it. So uh-huh. she was super supportive <laughs> of it and shit. And uh, I, don't know, when I was probably like twelve, I. Uh, I was like fishing with my grandfather and I saw my uncle he like pulled up like in his boat and got off boat and had like this like shamrock tattooed on him like as soon as I saw it I'm like I'm doing that. <laughs> got you, got you. You haven't done a collaboration with him? Yeah, I actually have. I uh, meet we collaborated on like a, a cover up on my little cousin's uh calf. I'll see. Oh, okay. Uh just the just the art? Yeah. That yeah, was just, a collab yeah, you just tatted it but you guys kinda of made something. Yeah. Hey man, I uh, uh like that art battle, twenty minutes trying to come up with something and being able to draw. Like I, I, I like. Uh, I, I think that's tight. I think that really like tunes uh, your artistic ability. We actually met when we were doing the alley. We met some some girl. Man, I'll have to go through and find her, man. But when I when I really looked into her, bro, this chick was like bad. Bro, she she uh, she's like, oh look what I painted today. She's like, I did that uh, in 20 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. It was like a masterpiece, bro. She's like, I always time myself. But like, she was from Toronto. Uh, Drake buys paintings from her. She drew Drake, painted Drake. Boom. Like, uh, Jerm was with us, man. I I didn't even know. Like, when I found out, like, who she was, like, uh, after looking into her, I was starstruck. Like, dang. But I'm glad I didn't act all starstruck to her. So, well, I don't act that way anyways. I'm going to be like, oh, what's up? But, uh. She was taking pictures of our stuff and taking pictures of stuff. So that that was cool, man. Uh, that life still, like, drawing fast like that. Like, uh, on the subway, I see one of these artists that, that, like, he'll sit across from you and just kind of draw you. And then be like, oh, look, I just drew you. And you'll be like, oh, shit, what the heck? So, I mean, do you do you practice uh, drawing like that or? Not really, but actually, since it's the last art battle, I'm like, that's for laying, like, the foundation of the painting down. And like stuff like that, I'm, I'm gonna start doing it like that because I'm like I waste so much time on bases that I just end up building up anyway that you don't really you don't need like an outline for yeah, it. Right? It's kind of a waste. It's like an OCD thing where I'm trying to get all perfect and I'm like I'm just gonna go over this anyway. Like, right, right. <laughs> you think that has to do with the tattoos? Um, kind of, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I, that's why I like spray painting because I can break away from that. So I don't have to be like, man, if I, I got to do this tattoo right, bro. So I like spray painting so I can just, psh, like even right now, circle's kind of messed up. Psh, 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 we'll redo it. No. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, spray painting, like I, I've tried getting into like a few times. Like I'll do like some of like my backgrounds, like bases and spray paint mm-hmm. and build it up. But uh, it's always been kind of like hard for me on top of like the humidity and the weather out like on the mm. East Coast. Um, like I, I write with my left hand, I throw with my right. So like my right hand stronger than my left hand. So it's like it's weird, like trying to like mm. put that, and I'm not coordinating the same way I am with my left hand. Got gotcha, uh, gotcha. you, you know what I mean. So it's like it kind of throws me off. Like no, I can <laughs> see, I can see absolutely how that would throw you off. Like uh, you're almost ambidextrous or whatever. Yeah, I guess it's called. Like, I always thought it was ambidextrous, and I'm always like, yeah, like all cocky about it. And then there's another word for it. Yeah, then, then I found out it's called uh, cross dominant, and I'm like, it's associated with like all this bad shit, like criminality and like well, like all kinds of stuff. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> Hey, you're like, cause I can write with my I can write with my <laughs> right hand, and I swing a bat with my left. That means I'm a criminal. You know what I mean? Oh damn, <laughs> that's messed up, man. That's I, hella messed up. I rob you with this hand and take your shit with this hand. Yeah, yeah. But like, that's probably why in Catholic schools and stuff, the nuns are like beat their left-handed kids. They like beat them with a ruler. And oh, back really? In the day, yeah. Because they're trying to say that the left hand has something to do with. Uh, yeah. Damn the yeah. devil! No, oh, just, uh, oh, they say hit a certain hand. Yeah, if you're left-handed, then not, like back yeah. in the day in Catholic schools, nuns like would hit them with a ruler and stuff to train them to use their right hand instead. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. We're gonna have to look into that. Yeah. We're <laughs> definitely gonna have to look into that one right there. Mm-hmm. Hey, now, shout out to all my lefties. No, I was left-handed, and my mom fucking uh, enforced me to use my right. Really? Yeah. 
Like she, I, I could write like you know with my left hand, but she was like, "No, nah, it's bad or whatever." You know, fucking. Oh, see, so some see, you didn't know. Yeah, and 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 we still don't know. But but, but this is like. We're going to go down the rabbit hole and why the left <laughs> hand is so bad. Wow. Uh, hey, speaking of something you said right now, though, do you miss the humidity or do you love the humidity? No, I hate the humidity. <laughs> I hate the humidity and the pollen. Bro, I mean. Pollen? Yeah, pollen's brutal in the summertime yeah. out there. I wouldn't think there's no fucking pollen with all those buildings and shit, you know? Like, yeah, but that's like well, New, nah, York, that's New, New York, New York. So, so, like, New York. New, New York is like this big. New York City is like this big. It's right. like there's Vegas. a whole other six hours of state north of it. Right. Like another like six hours west of like right. on top of it. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. It's uh outside of New York, New York. I would say it's. It's like the strip. You got the section of all the buildings and shit, but everywhere else. Um. Pretty much. But yes more, and no. Well, because yeah. uh, okay, what he's saying is like New York is like just Las Vegas. Right. Okay. Or New York, New York is just Las yeah. Vegas. Mm-hmm. But the whole state of New York isn't like Las Vegas. Yeah. It's right. it's big trees, forests, and, 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 and to that nature. So right. you know what I mean. You got these big houses, um, a lot of old uh, uh, history there too. You know what I mean. These buildings. Yeah, a lot of like uh, there's a lot of like old houses from like the Underground Railroad and stuff like that. Okay. Like my grandmother's house is actually on it. She has like hidden compartments in her house and stuff to like oh. hide people in. It's pretty cool. Oh, that that's that's. that's that's really cool. So, with that being said, you got any ghost stories to that? Uh, no, I mean, I know. UFOs. Not oh, okay. <laughs> okay, we'll go that route. <laughs> you know, well, for the people who don't really know, if he's ever... T- <laughs> don't you're, You ain't right. But if you don't know what the Underground Railroad is, it's not a railroad. <laughs> you know what I mean? A uh, quick uh, history lesson. Uh, it, it, was, it, was, it was a path that slaves from the south would take heading north to to become free in short right okay right. there we go we won't go too deep in that february was last month um so <laughs> what <laughs> you should hear what the homie wants me to say right now oh, um all right so that's that's cool though man i mean I mean, by the time they got to Albany, though, because Albany is north of New York, right? Mm-hmm. So by the time they got up there, they, they already, like, passed West Virginia and, and all of that stuff. So, I mean, they were there, I guess. Um, So, is there graffiti, though, in Albany? I, I shouldn't say it like that. I yeah, mean, there's graffiti. I mean, it... The... The East Coast isn't, the Northeast isn't, like, as laid back as the West Coast and not, like, as accepting of art, I feel like. Mm-hmm. But lately, like, last few years, Albany's been, like, commissioning, like, different graffiti art stuff to, like, big murals around the city to put art around town. It's pretty cool. Uh, okay. We've never liked that before, though. Like, it's just, like, a recent thing just the last few years. How do you feel about, what? Well, I want to know the pros and cons of East Coast and West Coast, in your view. <laughs> East Coast, I like that if, like, people... I feel like like somebody has an issue with you. They tell you they have an issue with you, and then you work it out or you fight it out. You right, know? right, right. Here, it's like I'm always trying to figure people out, or like always, like you know what I mean, like art of war type shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> do you think that's because uh, you're not in it, like where you're where you grew up at? Well, I mean, we're just loud, like obnoxious people. Like we don't like. <laughs> no, I think it's so hot in here and so cold in here. The wet, the weather that. A lot of people here are very in home inside people, you know what I mean. So they're like used to being secluded, or you know what I mean, because they're mostly spending a lot of time indoors as opposed to being out. And you know, what I mean, is that I, what you think? That's what I think. Yeah, I like oh. meeting a bunch of people. Everybody that I usually kind of talk to, they're like, I never go to the strip. I never do that. Like, they're usually like a lot of homebody people. You know, I'm sure yeah, you guys kick it, or whatever. But yeah, big majority of the people are indoors. You know what I mean? Are in like well, because it's so freaking hot. Yeah, you know, and I understand right. that. And a lot of local people, like even people that move out here, they they, they find out real quick that they're, they're not hanging out on the strip. Right. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. They're like, bro, I was watching some stuff about uh, uh, uh about the strip, some clips or something or whatever on yeah. uh one of those pages uh but dangle dangle what up but it was just showing a bunch of drunk people on the strip and i'm like that's exactly why i don't go there mm-hmm. like i'm gonna get in a fight with this dude because he's drunk right. i'm gonna mess mine all off because he's drunk yeah you know what i mean that's why i'm like kicking at bars and shit like 
I'll go, funny. you know, I guess if, I, if we're doing something, but I don't really like to go to a bar because I don't want some dumb drunk fuck get on my nerves and have to beat his ass or do some dumb yeah, shit just because yeah. it's was annoying, you know? When it's not his fault, I mean, I get it, he's just trying to have a good time, but some drunk people... And it's know, always just know? the one homie, right? There's yeah. a group of five of them. The one, the one is the one getting belligerent. Right. The other dudes are like, man, just chill, man. He's drunk and he just keeps popping off and you're like, right. I'm, I'm yeah. supposed to chill over here and just let that happen? I like it down here like in the arts district, though. There's like pretty... I like it. Like all the freaks and weirdos are down here. You know what I mean. You don't deal oh, with yeah, like yeah. any bullshit, really. <laughs> you know, I, I love the art district, bro. Yeah, I, I love like, it down here. I, I love it. I, I I grew up in a house right down the way here, where I grew up right over here. So I mean, Main Street wasn't one way; it was a two way. You know what I mean? Uh, single lane both ways. My mom worked at the bar right here, actually where the uh, Polly Shores comedian shows at. They used to be called Geno's. Mm -hmm. My mom worked there for a lot of years. When I would get out of school, I would, instead of walking home, I would walk to her bar because they had a restaurant there and, like, you know, like the bar food. So I would go in there and help with the cook or whatever, right. eat some chicken wings and play pool. Uh, yeah, I used to play pool. I'd be like, Psh, these folks bought me a pool, uh, a billiard, you know what I mean? And I learned how to play pool pretty good, so I'm all right. I haven't played in a while, but um, damn. So he said people back in the East are more friendly. No, <laughs> no, that's what like that's what I like about oh, more, like, more, more, more like. Hey, let's get this situated. Uh, like kind of, nah, like stand. Up, we're kind of like standoffish, you know. Like out here, I can go to a bar. Like I go out in the bars out here, and I just sit down next to somebody. I'll start drinking. I'm like, yo, what up? You want to go bar gotcha, hopping? Gotcha. Next thing you know, we're out for three days together. So hey, that is that in New York, you're like, hey, what's up? And they're like trying to steal from me, or like you're trying to do right, something right, to right, me. Right. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, pick <laughs> me. yeah, 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 yeah. I can see that for sure. <laughs> I, I actually go to bars and do that. I don't go there intending to be like, hey, what's up? You know what I mean? But you sit next to somebody, you start chopping it up. Bam, bam, bam. All right, cool, man. You know what? We're going to go over here. Come on, let's roll. Right. Let's go to the car real quick. No, <laughs> catch a... Uh, I'm just messing around. <laughs> okay, so you wasn't too much into the graph, though. What, like, what, 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 you, outside of uh, artists, like, uh, outside of the art stuff, like, what, what did you do? Did you... Uh, skateboarding. 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 Skateboarding is like my first love, and then I f screwed my ankle up when I was younger. Like, I didn't let it heal right. Like, I uh, I broke my growth plate, and I got, like, a hard cast. I was supposed to stay off it for, like, a few months and stuff, and I, like, started skateboarding, like, a week later, and it never healed right. And then I caught, like, a dirt bike pegged down to my shin, and I didn't mm -hmm. tell my mom because, like, I was smoking weed. Like, <laughs> and she, like crazy overprotective like she's like if i'm letting you sleep over at your friend's house for the weekend like you better not be on that dirt bike so i have like my boys like mom like tell them she's gonna be there and stuff she leaves she goes out on like a bender and then uh, <laughs> i leave i'm riding this dirt bike first time on a dirt bike and i'm gassing it and i'm stoned out of my mind like trying to like i'm like i realize i'm like riding a wheelie and i just dump the bike on myself so like i don't hit his little like brother and sister yeah and peg all the way down to my bone and then uh, oh. I'm like, I'll just let her know, like, whenever your mom gets home and she didn't come home for, like, two days and I got all wrapped up in the ace bandage. So then I, like, tried acting like I just, um, I was learning 360 flips at the time and I had it all wrapped up in the ace bandage and I started skateboarding and I uh, hit myself in the shin and it started bleeding. I tried acting like it just happened. And I go to the hospital and they're like, this did not just happen. Like, you're a liar. <laughs> yeah, they're like, so uh, to, uh, sounds good. Yeah, so I had to put like raw gauze in it, like for like months, like and like on the bone, and let uh, all this like pussy, like infected shit, like oh, build up on it, and then peel it out and put new ones in. It was brutal. So that leg's like shot. So I mean, I still skate. Like I skate with my son and stuff, but not. I'm not throwing myself. Were you good at it? anymore? Yeah, I was. I was super into skateboarding for years. <laughs> what did you ask the homie earlier? Uh, top three skateboarding videos. Uh, sorry. Uh, Sorry, almost cheese and crackers and uh, aesthetics. Uh, Rider volume, ride or die volume two. All right. Um, who's on the cheese and crackers? Uh, uh, it's all like the almost team, like uh, Chris is long, like they want song, they all those dudes. Uh, uh, yeah. You be knowing your, you be knowing your skateboard and stuff. I was in skateboarding for years, bro. Bro, you can you see like the day one song versus Rodney Molding kind of battle? Yeah, that shit was yeah. Tight, huh? yeah. I still follow all of it. I'm still in it. Like yeah. it's just. I'm not capable anymore. <laughs> Shout out to all my skaters out there, to all the skaters out there for show. Um, if y'all seen any of those videos, or if you haven't, go and check them out. Recommended by Josh Riley. Um, I didn't skate like that. Uh, I did skate only videotaping uh, one of my boys, uh, downtown Chris. Uh, he's like, he's one of the ones I guess would say in Vegas that at that time. Because there was only two skate parks before they made the skate parks, like Desert Breeze, which is all the way out west, and uh, 
JC. No, not JC. JC, they just built that. Um, Winchester. Uh, it's on Pecos and DI. So, like, that was the one for the east east side, and there's one on the west. But uh, Desert Breeze, and they got they got Desert Breeze boys or, or whatever, or DB kids or something like that. Like, And they're, like, big skaters. But they used to... They used to wreck shop, bro. Like fools, don't don't be coming over here skating. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's crazy You're going down. Um, yo, 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 yo. Shit. It's not working. I don't know. He says that he can't hear. Can y'all hear yo, it? Yo, yo. Let me know if you can hear now. Um, is yours plugged in on the bottom of your thing? Yeah, oh, yeah it is there? on there. It's on. It's green. That's why I'm like it's kind of. It should be working. Expressive. Did someone call you? No, they messaged right here. They comment. Oh no, I mean, but I mean, did someone try to call you? Nah, I don't think so. How long have we been on? I wanna, I wanna, I wanna chief up. Thirty minutes. Okay, so can I get in on this? Then? Oh yeah, blazer. Yeah, I thought you wanted to smoke a cigarette. No, 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 no. Yeah. I'm not gonna. No, I'm not. Oh, yeah, like that Only every now done. and then. Um, so the homie's a skater. The homie knows all the skating. Oh yeah, uh, my boy, uh, little Chris. Like all the kids at that time, skating were looking up to him and shit. Like, mm. You know what I mean? Right here. Oh, he been to the Warp Tour. He want like he got like regional a couple times and whatnot. So. uh yeah, That's how I used to get gear. I would just go travel to skate demos and shit. Like, I had to go so that I could get a free fucking shirt and have a new cool t-shirt, you know? Like, because I would get, like, bullshit-ass clothes all the time. Yeah, the <laughs> demos were always, like, highlight of the year. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got to do one with uh, uh, Tosh Townend, like, Reese, Reese Forbes and um, Brent Ashley. Mm-hmm. Like, Brent's still skateboarding. Yeah, we have uh, the locals fucking uh, Belvedere Skate Park. Bunch. It was kind of, like, newer. Like, I literally, like... Two years after I stopped skateboarding, like me and my whole crew that stopped skating, they built that skate park. But it was like a, it was our our kind of like idea, or I guess uh, our blueprint, because like they had asked us. We used to skate some gym, gym spot. It was like a, it's called a gym. It's just a basketball gym, but outside the gym had these stairs and ledges, and we'll skate right there. And the cops will pass by right there, always trying to fuck with us. And uh, but they like kind of allowed us. And uh, there one day <coughs> the city was like. Hey, you know, we know you guys are like the the big, the popular, not popular, but the guys who mainly skate here, like, you know, we will build a skate park, you know, we, we want your guys' feedback. And they had like a big council meeting, and me and all the homies are right there, and they're like, what do you want to build? And we're building this, and I guess Tony Hawk ended up putting up the money so that they could build it, and they built that skate park. And it came out sick, but we were already all like, we don't skate no more, but it was still cool because. Did you guys have input on, on, on like, where the stairs where or this the road stairs, where the, yeah all that time what, what's what we wanted shout like, out bro kind of shit with, like ledges and look stuff. at this guy this guy's a star we Doesn't were more even fucking uh, street skaters than bird but they built like a park but it was like alright well whatever as long as we got some of these we're good you know yeah we uh we built one there was this abandoned building it was uh like the knickknack shop dude. that was like abandoned there's like a little plaza kind of and like a pet shop next to it that was abandoned and then like some like antique center so it was abandoned for like years so there was this uh dude on my buddy's street that it's like an older dude like uh he's always down in the city and he had all this random shit on the side of his house like pipes and plywood and oh, like yeah. all kinds of stuff so we just stole it all like little by little <laughs> and we built this huge like indoor skate park and we skated it for like a year and a half before they like took the shit down oh man yeah, man, I didn't. I I could ollie, you know what I mean, but I couldn't really. Our shit was like schools, you know, go take over a fucking school, go take yeah. over the banks or whatever, you know. Like, uh, I uh, mean, I think there's like a tent stair at a uh, UNLV that uh, the homies always used to go and skate. There's so. some dope spots that like n- not skating no more. I'm driving around, and I see spots. I'm like, that's a sick ledge, that's a sick gap, or that you yeah, know, like yeah. I just could see it. It's like graffiti, like you say, you kind of know, like. When you see a spot, you're like, if you know, you'll know that that's a dope spot. You know what I mean? Right, right, because it's an underground. Right. Do you know what I mean? Oh, it sucks. And since I moved out here, it's like I've been running. In, like I went out to L.A. Uh, to do this um, music video with this band, As I Lay Dying. And what is I'm, it called? As I Lay Dying. This that band, sounds like, So I went out to do this music video out there, and I'm noticing these like little uh, loading docks that Rodney Mullen always skates. And I'm like, I recognize those. <laughs> I'm out in San Francisco, and I like walked by. It was Pier 19 or whatever it is yeah. there. Okay. And I'm like, oh, my God, like freaking out. And I'm like, I can't do anything now. <laughs> <laughs> what was your best trick? Um, 360 flip, no slide, uh, 180, double to fakey. Yeah. Okay. That's sick. Jerem, what was your what best trick? Say? Who? Yeah. 360 flip <laughs> to nose grind. No, no slide. Uh, uh, the, I know what the 360 flip is, is is when you do a pop shove and, and, and a kick flip, right? Right, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah two, two, but a complete two. circle. But a complete. And your body has to do the complete no, circle. Right? Just no, the no, board no. has your to do the uh, Yeah, it's like uh, your, your uh, board goes in a 360 horizontally and vertically. Right. Oh, so it's like. Yeah. Yeah. 
a very was like just, just a kick flip and the shove it, but a complete okay. shove it like a full circle. With uh, that. my son be skating and stuff. Uh, and I've been watching him skate for the past few years. The one you took to the crib, or? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good times. <laughs> uh, yeah. A uh, shout out to Double A. Uh, he. So my brother skates too, though. My brother's a big skater, bro. Right now, like uh, yeah. he's he's pretty dope. Uh, but he's but he's like one of those. Uh, I'm pretty good or whatever, but I just skate. I don't want to do this or do that. I don't know if that makes any sense. Yeah, no, it's just a vibe. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a vibe. Catch him at the park, skating yeah. this that. Uh, he's in Utah right now, but uh, when he broke his last board, he'd be like, "Hold on, my son." Eventually, then my brother playing skate with him. Mm -hmm. He's like, damn, bro, Aaron's good. Oh. He's like, you know what I mean? Like, he's catching up to me right. and stuff like that. So I've been watching my son do that, you know. But my brother all the time cruising around. Uh, when he broke his last board, uh, when he was out here, like, in the summertime, he'd just be like, hey, you want to play skate for your board? Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah, I try to, for sure. I'm like, that's right. Yeah, we bust so many people out of that shit. I just play them skate and take their board. You got moms coming to the spot. You're like... My son did it and wants his skateboard back. You're like, bitch, your fucking son put up his board for the bet and shit. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, it's... Uh, do you remember, do you remember uh, Creeper Trucks? Like, Grind King made them. They were, like, kind of... They almost looked like bat wings. Oh, yeah, yeah. Those were, like, the most comfortable trucks I'd ever skated in. Like, yeah. they stopped making them. Creeper and, Trucks? Like, yeah. I and like, like, uh, Venture and fucking uh, Independent. You know, that's kind of trying So, to this, uh... This younger kid had like a board at my school. I'm oh. gonna think. Uh, after school, he's skating in the parking lot, and he has a set of them. So I'm like, I gotta <laughs> take this. Like they're, they don't make them anymore. So I like yeah. take it and run. So he calls the cops on me, <laughs> and I get home. Like I ran through a pond, like in like water up to my waist and stuff. I get home, and there's a message on the uh, answering machine from the cops, like telling my mo my mom's at work. And they're like, oh, your son's like wanted to like question, like stole this kid's skateboard or whatever. So I'm like, oh, shit. I skateboard like another mile because I know where the kid lives. I go leave it on his porch. And I go back home. I call the cops. And I'm like, yeah, no. I'm like, that kid's my friend. I was just messing around with him. Like, I brought it over to his house. And they're like, oh, that's right. My mom never found out about it. <laughs> and and I, I didn't know the cop The cops ain't never called my house and been like, hey, yo, uh, you know, this happened over here. This, this, this. <laughs> So that's that's crazy. I'm not. I didn't even listen to your story. I was man. The cops called my house and left a message. <laughs> right? I'm like, holy, oh, what the heck? Um, damn, that's crazy. Um, I hit it for sure. Man, damn, skating. Uh, you know what? The only thing like that ever happened to me wasn't it had nothing to do with skating. But but on on Halloween, they got they got me and the homie dog. Mm -hmm. There was like 10, 15 of them. They're like, oh, what's up with your bag? Oh, and we just, uh, yeah, oh, shit. you know what I mean? And I was just like, damn. I mean, I wasn't like, oh, here you go. You know right. what I mean? Like, but I'm like, man, I'm like, I'm grabbing something here, homie. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. and then, nah, let me get you. I'm like, here, that's, you know what I mean? Like, start stabbing with a pencil and shit. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was, it was, that's the only, like, but I, I don't know, man. I've, I've, I've told fools to ask them for their jacket or, and whatnot. <laughs> Have you been hit by a boy with somebody? Like, you get into an argument or some shit? I'm good. I'm cool too. No, I've been hit by, like, cars and stuff on my board, but never... No, no, was yeah. The car was parked, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Not just... <laughs> no, I'm, like, drunk, like, 14, skateboarding to an alley, getting hit by a car at, like, 15 miles an hour. I'm like, don't tell my mom! Right, right, right. <laughs> uh-huh. We told you hey. you getting hit by a car story, huh? My, when? What? You told your story, and I told you when I got hit by a car, you told me when you got it, remember? I mean, I got hit, yeah, I got hit by a car. When you were a kid, and you yeah. said yeah, that's crazy. No, I mean, getting hit by a car is uh, it is crazy. Yeah. You're a kid, were you? You were young too, right? I was like a teenager already. I was, that's was skating and shit. We were skating, but I was on the bike, you know. Yeah. <laughs> to the skate spot, you know. Yeah. yeah. This whole did the Wayne's World and shit. Uh. That bitch fucked me up. She like turned like we were like 15 deep in the pile, like half of us passed. And in between me and the other homie, she decided to, like, turn, and I just fucking, boom, like, drove into her fucking car, threw me over, and it was, like, a hill to top it off. It was a Soto hill, and then after, it's, like, a pretty big hill. And you're kind of... Rolled all the way down to the hill and got hit by the fucking... Like, the gate stopped me at the house and shit. Like, I was just fucking flying, dog. Have you guys ever seen that movie, uh, uh, Peter Pan, or the one with uh, Robin Williams? It's called Hook. Mm -hmm. you never seen the kid movie? I holler you, bro. Yeah, like Captain Hook, like Robin Williams. Or yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, I see right. that when I was a little kid. Right, know. right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. And then and then the one little black kid, uh, the the fat one, he fucking hikes his legs up and he rolls down the... Uh, 
<laughs> That's how you were rolling up the street, bro? Yeah. No, oh, man, come on, dog. Yeah, and it fuck, yeah, it was whack. Um, she gave me 40 bucks. I was like, how much you got? She's like, this is all I have. I was like, I'll take it. She <laughs> bought a gram and a fucking pizza and shit. Like, you know? <laughs> Run it, huh? That's when a gram was like 20 bucks, you know? Damn. You are a toy!